Okay, so we put the floor in, took the floor out. It is hotter than you know what out here. Now I'm going to fill some holes in the floor here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. These right here, these are pretty massive. So I'm going to fill those in. All the rest of them are perfect, so I can just weld them up. Got a little bit of the rest off the bottom. This piece is in weld through primer. And I just took some acetone and paint thinner to try and rub it off, and it doesn't rub off. I mean, I'm still going to strip it once I get to that point. But for now, just so I can get it welded in and such. And I'm just going to leave it how it is. So let's fill a few holes and see how that goes. Alright, well I got all my holes filled, as you can see. I have to drill out there anyway. Um, these pans over here cover up that spot up under here. So, um, once it's in there, there's already holes in those pans. I'll drill those out. So I'm trying this copper weld through primer stuff. Looks like pink paint kind of on the screen. And this whole thing's in weld through primer anyway. And then, like I said before, I'm also going to I'm gonna strip it off when I get to that point, but for now it's helping protect it. You'll see a little bit of rust spots here and there. Some of them are from scratches and whatnot. All that'll come off. It's actually, most of that is from when I was drilling out the holes to get this apart. If you look at the other side, you're going to see quite a bit of rust in certain spots. It's really not the pan, it's the the metal that was laying on top of it and then it that's what then it got wet. So anyway, all this will clean up. I'm just not to that point yet. But I did also do weld through on down the seams here. Anywhere that's covered that I cannot get to, I hit with the weld through primer stuff. Well, it's about time to put it back in. Uh, I'm going to show you in here too. Same thing, weld through primer all over the place. These, I am not going to coat yet. I'm actually going to wait till the floor is on. I have a internal frame coating stuff where it's got a hose that you put up through the holes and just shoot all over the place. It's got a, like a conical nozzle that shoots everywhere. But I'm going to do that once the floor is on there and go down all these here. Probably back up over the hump here and all the frame rails. But the places that I can't get to, I just hit with that primer for the time being. So, let's put the floor back in.
slide it back. It, baby. Let me get underneath. Here, push up. Push up? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to pull yeah. it back. Push it up. Man. Push it up. Pull it back, dude. Move. Push it up. Push it up real 
just that front corner, right? Yeah. No, it's not. Look, John. Yes, it is. It's not. Yeah. You know, it's not back enough. It's not back enough because it's like this. Right. Can you get that corner to push in? You're gonna have to push it out. It's fine. Here, take this. You push that corner in. Right. Yeah. Is that? Mm -hmm. It's because it's tweaked. You gotta pull, we gotta pull it back. We yes, we do. It's twisted. That's not that bad. Right, let me get it. Let me get underneath. Need help? Yeah, let me get underneath. Close. Get on your side. Or that side, not your side. And push up just a little bit, John. Just a hair. How are you over there? I think I can just adjust it. That side in. Mm -hmm. It's all the way back. Can you need a little bit today? No. Like it's perfect there. <clears throat> right? Uh, we're going to work it now. We'll call it a day. Okay. You want me to get out? What? You want me to get out? Yes. Getting out before I start pounding on things. Huh? 
<laughs> what did you say? I said I always have. Uh, you think? Not bad, huh? Okay, so the floor's in. I set that seat pan in there just to spread my weight across while I'm sitting in there welding. That way the floor is not sagging doing one of these. Um, I found something I really hate doing. See all these little holes? Well, there's weld through primer on those rails underneath. And I have to scrape out every one of those. And there's a lot of them. Anyway, it's time consuming. It takes forever. I don't like that part of it. Welding wise, it's going okay though. What I was doing was scraping a couple out, weld, scrape a couple out, weld. Yeah, that t nah, that's not the way to do it. Anyway, I'm going to keep plugging along here and see how far I can get. Well, I didn't get too much farther. There's my progress. I've still got a lot of cleanup to do for underneath, all along here where that rust is and whatnot. And I got a few holes I got to fill where the seat pan was when I tore the floor apart. So that's where I'm at. I do want to show you my new lights. Um, I put some LED bulbs in and it is way nicer in here they weren't expensive but the difference is amazing and just to show you here's a view of the car with, with my new lights it's just a lot better anyway that's it for this video Please consider subscribing if you haven't. Uh, likes and comments are awesome. And once again, thanks for watching.